I understand the distress is overwhelming. You can't stop replaying those moments, attempting to pinpoint where things went astray. The incident feels like a broken record. What brings you joy? There will be people labeling you a failure, mocking your fall. They'll write you off, believing you'll never make a mark, viewing you as feeble. So what's your next move? Will you validate their misjudgments or contradict them? Allow them to, to perceive you as weak. Quit engaging in trivial disputes with individuals unworthy of your time and energy. If you've been broadcasting your intentions, do us both a favor. Cease the chatter. Show the results. No longer declare your plan. Simply act on them. I've realized through bitter experiences that not everyone around me holds my best interest at heart because not everyone wishes the best for me. So I've learned to keep my move secret until I've put in the work. Will you demonstrate that a setback doesn't embody your essence? Will you illustrate that failure is merely a step towards achievement? Will you prove that you're a powerhouse in this arena? What's your next move? It's time to manifest a fierce desire. It's time to prepare. It's time to grind and prove everyone wrong. Demonstrate that you're a unique force. Let them gossip when you're on a mission. Meaningless fights are not on your agenda. You need to remain focused and purposeful. The external noise should be inconsequential. I empathize. Despite giving it your all, you fell short. The pain feels unbearable. You did everything possible and yet stumbled. You didn't come out victorious, but that's acceptable. It's, it's okay if you didn't claim the prize. It's okay if you didn't stand tall. I understand. Such is life. What legacy do you want to leave? It's time to hustle. So take a moment and reflect on where you've been investing your energy. Every action should be deliberate and in line with your ultimate goals. Your mindset can either elevate you or trap you in a cycle of perpetual initiation without completion. If you aren't careful, you'll be caught in a loop of discussion, planning, and analysis, but no action. It's time to re-enter the arena. Lift your spirits, rise, allow them to chatter. Let them assume you're weak. Let them believe you'll never triumph. Their thoughts don't determine your worth. Your failure doesn't define you, but your work ethic does. Your drive, tenacity, and determination do. Winners are the ones who take action. Winners can take a blow and bounce back. You don't need a detailed roadmap of how to achieve your goals. What you need is a deep conviction that you'll make it, that you'll cross the finish line. Stop merely talking about the person you aspire to be and start embodying that person now. Understand that you can transition into your future self right at this moment. No need to delay. No need to wait for the perfect alignment. Growth is uncomfortable, so stop seeking comfort. Stand tall. I know it's daunting, intimidating, and tough, but the time has come. It's time to rise. It's time to choose greatness, choose betterment. Let's do it. It's time to win. Time and again, I wondered why my path seemed harder compared to others. From an outsider's perspective, it seemed like others were effortlessly succeeding. I was wounded, shattered, and exhausted. I misunderstood my journey. I anticipated difficulties, and when things went smoothly, I grew anxious. I I was accustomed to hardship and stress. I'm not implying you won't face challenges, but you shouldn't settle for a tough life. Train your mind to anticipate improvement. Remind yourself that successful people are no different from you. Winners are those who focus on themselves and their desires. We've been programmed to put ourselves last to prioritize others' happiness. The downside is you risk losing yourself, your vision, your motivation, your purpose. And that's not fair. You have a right to time for yourself, to reject requests without guilt, to be selfish at times. People will praise you until you say no. Don't lose your identity trying to fit others' expectations. Stay focused. Keep striving, regardless of others' opinions. If you continue to neglect yourself, you'll bear the consequences. Stop claiming you want something, but when it's time to pursue it, you're full of excuses. If you want it, chase it with everything you've got. Your responsibility is to show up, work hard, and let your achievements do the talking. Less conversation, more outcome.